Yo guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video I'm going to be unboxing the Sofoam Stream Controller. It's basically an Elgato competitor, um, but it's not made by Elgato or Razer. I know Razer also has one and it's meant to be kind of good, um, but it's more expensive than, than the Elgato. So I'm going to try this one first and obviously if it's good, I'm going to keep it. So yeah, let's take a look. So here's the device. I already have it unboxed. Um, there's not much to the box. I'll show a video of it, but it's just the device in the box and a cable. Yeah. So here's the, here's the device. So on this side, you can it's just a screen. You can put whatever you want on there, and then there's 15 buttons on it. So let's plug this in and let's take a look. Oh, and also I just noticed this before I go from full camera mode. You can just pull that out, so you can like hang it somewhere or something. If you have like a some like um sticky tape or like double sided tape, you can just hang it on your wall. Well, not your wall because the cable comes out of that way. Should make it come out of the top, so then you could hang it off. You could hang it on your wall, but you can hang it somewhere. And um, using that, if you don't want to stand. Okay, so it's plugged in. Here's what it looks like when it's plugged in. Nothing connected to it currently, or no software. So it's just a white screen basically with their logo on it. One, two, three, dot VIP dash win. It is a really weird address. <laughs> kind of scary pressing the button, but I guess what's the virus, bro? What's the virus, bro? Yes, once you type in that address and press enter, it just downloads it. Let's just install this random software that just appeared on my computer. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? Yeah, let's install the software. Before this, I had tried this, this stream deck. Um, there's like a mobile app sort of thing, but I wasn't really feeling that. So let's try this. Because it was just kind of annoying to have, to have your phone turned on all the time. Okay, so yeah, it looks similar to the stream deck setup sort of thing. Um, I didn't know that I need external stuff. Um, let's just try setting up some scenes on OBS. How do I do that? So if I drag it over, is that it? I don't know. I assume we probably need to go to the websites. foam okay so not the best instructions so foam obs setup okay so you can change the language there let's watch a tutorial quick okay we can download loads of plugins how did you do that okay so that's like double plugins okay but how does obs work let's pull it back up obs okay so there are obs tools Maybe this will get it working. Let's see what else we can download. Twitch. You get Twitch Watcher, Twitch Chat, Control Twitch Chat, Scroll Through Messages. Eh. What do I actually need? YouTube Live is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Um. Let's see what else. Okay, icons. What, what the icon packs looking like? Download some of these icons. Let's find these are free. Um, on the OBS one, they sell most of these. So this is kind of cool. How it's free. I don't know why these two images are here. If they don't work, that makes no sense. That is one thing. It's not the best design software, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, 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 okay. OBS. How? There must be a tutorial on how to do this. It has to be said that this is an L on their parts. The fact that most people are buying this to do live streaming and it'll make it obvious how you set this up is a big L on their part, to be honest. Like, I've wasted half an hour so far trying to figure this out, so. Let's see, support. That's so. Com. Okay, so that's it. Gain for Windows. Yeah, okay. Go. Hello. Why? Why you download stuff without tell? No, I don't want the device. Are you dumb? I want the driver, bro. 
Um, uh, like what? I'm gonna lose my mind, bro. It's only I can be the only dumbass that can't figure this out. I found it. I found it. I found it. If you go to this page, and then you click on Show Connection Info, you'll get all the information there that you need. Okay. I can't show it to you guys because it shows my private stuff that I can't show it to you guys. So, but if you press show connection, it will bring up another menu that will show you what you need, I think. Okay. So on that menu that I showed you guys before. So on this page, if you go on tools and then WebSocket, you then press generate password. And then don't forget to press apply and then you should be able to go show connection info and then i think you may also have to press enable websocket server let's see if that breaks it that does break it yeah so needs how that enabled anyways okay and then it should start working perfectly once you copy over the details from this page you copy over it and then it starts working as you can see it's connected there and to make sure you don't show that live on stream because otherwise your people will get leaked <laughs> yay let's go <laughs> yeah why is it saying the device not connected, but there's a screen on it right now. I'm going to unplug the device and re-plug it. Okay, so I finally have it back working. Um, yeah, so I had to shift around, shift around the cables, and then I also had to set up the OBS stuff while not recording. Otherwise, it wouldn't work. work. But yeah, as you can see, it's now working. Um, I can switch that. Um, this is my... That was my private screen where you can't hear the mic. Um, I think this is my full screen. Hey, yeah. A lot easier than having to move the mouse around to that. Um, and then also I can, if I I can if I press the the side button, I can go to the next page. As you can see, I'm doing that on device, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then we we can download the plugins here to try and get something more obtainable. One thing I was saying is that on the OBS, for these buttons here, you can set like a press and hold, which I'm not sure if if that's an option here. It should be if it's not, um, or there should be a plugin that allows you to do that. Just that it's kind of it's kind of nice to be able to press and hold for record like two three seconds, because obviously if you accidentally press it and you're <laughs> obviously if you accidentally press it and then that's that's you done. It's kind of annoying. Okay, so far it's okay. Um, like it's interesting, but it definitely requires a bit of time to set up. Like the YouTube subscriber stuff and such. It's not working for me currently. I'm sure it works, but it's, I just need to figure it out. 